self deselection from careers of choice not having access to the dominant language of english which was the main valued language in the employment sector forced the government school participants to deselect themselves from careers of choice we have this case of a government school participant let's call him akil and he was presented to me as one of the very good students in the class a very bright person who wanted to take up a career in banking rather than going back to the his father's business of dry cleaning and once he had talked about his passion of joining joining the banking sector this is what he said he said we cannot get a job like this without english he meant this we know we have to save our respect face or do we not for our self respect we will not be able to go just like that we will not have the courage to go we know nothing we do not have the courage to go in the bank and i said but you would know we are talking about only language here what i meant was you will have the qualification once you finish your education and that's when you want to go to uh, the bank but he said language difference is there language makes a huge difference when we do not know the language why should we go into it so by the end of the interview he has almost thought about not joining it and you can think about the sense of fear which is rightly or wrongly possesses him about um, uh, regarding his uh, lack of english language proficiency now when we go to the banks we all know that the people sitting at the counters are not always using english language they talk to each other very much in urdu but the feeling that they might know english and they are using english of course in the documentation scares this child and he deselects himself from the career that he would like to join otherwise so this is the symbolic power of language that it forces a huge majority from deselecting themselves in uh, in terms of careers and this again serves the power of the elite because then these positions are left open to the selected few and they can access them so interesting thing to note over here is a, is how akil dismisses all knowledge and because just because he is shamed because of his poor english language proficiency so this again you would see very interestingly matches with the ideologies at work which somehow consolidate the concept of english language knowing it with uh, with a sense that the person who knows it also has a knowledge base and of course this serves the interests of the elite so the lesser the competition the better it is another student who also talks about how he would be in a problem when presentations will have to be made at the workplace and he says uh, i am urdu medium so i am like lesser and interestingly we are talking about again uh, the student is from the national college of arts and he is a very good person uh, and he is very talented in terms of his skills but when it comes to presenting his work he asks other people to present his work rather than he himself standing up and explaining it to to the audience just because it has to be done in english language in that scenario you have another case of uh, this government school participant who um, now uh, is thinking about joining a company it's a small job it's not a big deal and uh, he prepares for this interview and in this interview which he worries will be in english he sits down with his friend and he learns a few sentences that he might use them but uh, after taking the interview 
um, of saying a few lines, the interview had to be conducted in Urdu, but he was so ashamed of it that he could not negotiate his salary. And now two months into the job, he did not know uh, what his salary would be. So again, um, there is this girl who misses out on the opportunity of joining computer classes, which she only thinks might be in English language. We all know most of the classes and education is in Urdu, but we only code switch to English. But this fear of only a few words, it was too much for her to join the computer classes which were offered free of cost by her institution. So this is what we are talking about. These are the students who choose back seats in the class and then back seats also in, the, uh, in their offices, avoiding front desk positions. <laughs> 